the world's first thinking, reasoning, autonomous vehicle, AI. Alpamayo is trained end to end, literally from camera in to actuation out. The camera in, lots and lots of miles that are driven by itself using human demonstration. And we have lots and lots of miles that are generated by Cosmos. In addition to that, hundreds of thousands of examples are labeled very, very carefully so that we could teach the car how to drive. Alpha Mayo does something that's really special. Not only does it take sensor input and activates steering wheel, brakes and, and acceleration, it also reasons about what action it is about to take. It tells you what action it's going to take, the reason by which it came about that action, and then, of course, the trajectory. All of these are coupled directly and trained very specifically by a large combination of human trained and as well as Cosmos generated data. For years, investors believed autonomous driving was simply a data problem. More miles, more cameras, more edge cases. But at NVIDIA's most recent GTC and CES 2026 keynotes, Jensen Huang made it clear that this assumption is fundamentally wrong. What he unveiled is not an incremental upgrade to self-driving software, it is a structural breakthrough that changes how autonomy itself works. NVIDIA introduced Alpamayo, the world's first reasoning-based autonomous driving model. This system doesn't just see the road and react, it reasons about what it sees, explains the action it's about to take, and plans a trajectory, all in real time. Trained end-to-end -end from camera input to steering, braking, and acceleration, Alpamayo combines millions of real-world driving miles, human demonstrations, and massive synthetic data sets generated by NVIDIA's Cosmos World model. This matters because the biggest unsolved problem in autonomy has always been the long tail, rare, unpredictable situations that no amount of real-world data can fully capture. NVIDIA's answer is reasoning. Instead of memorizing every scenario, the AI breaks complex situations into familiar components and reasons through them the way a human would. That shift unlocks something profound. Explainable, regulator-ready, scalable autonomy. And while many people immediately assume this helps Tesla, here's the reality. Tesla doesn't use NVIDIA. Tesla builds its own chips, its own models, and its own autonomy stack. NVIDIA's platform is designed for everyone else. That's exactly why this breakthrough could reshape the EV industry. It gives automakers, robo-taxi operators, and platforms a way to leapfrog years of development without spending tens of billions in-house. In this video, we're breaking down three stocks that stand to benefit directly from this shift, not hypothetically, but structurally, as NVIDIA positions itself as the intelligence layer of the autonomous future. Let's begin with the first name, and this one might surprise you, Uber Technologies, ticker symbol, Uber. Uber is not becoming obsolete because of robo-taxis. It is quietly becoming the most powerful beneficiary of them. While the market still treats Uber as a ride-hailing app, the company has evolved into a global logistics and demand aggregation operating system. Uber now serves over 200 million monthly active users, coordinates roughly 9 million drivers and couriers, and facilitates more than 300 million trips every single week across mobility and delivery. That demand layer is the hardest part of autonomy to build. Not the AI, not the sensors, but consistent, high utilization demand in dense urban environments. This is where NVIDIA's reasoning-based autonomy changes everything. As Alpamayo lowers the barrier for safe, explainable level 4 autonomy, more autonomous vehicle providers can deploy at scale. And when that supply comes online, it needs a platform to monetize it. Uber is that platform. The economics of robo-taxis are brutally simple. Utilization is everything. Autonomous vehicles are expensive, capital-intensive assets that lose money every minute they sit idle. Uber's network solves that problem by instantly matching supply with demand, smoothing peak usage, and maximizing trips per vehicle. Early deployments already show autonomous vehicles on Uber completing more trips per day than human drivers. Financially, Uber is already executing at a level the market continues to underappreciate. Revenue is growing around 20% year over year, Free cash flow has swung from deep losses to nearly $9 billion on a trailing 12-month basis, and management has authorized a $20 billion share buyback, committing more than half of future free cash flow to repurchases. 
This is not a company scrambling to survive disruption. It's a platform compounding cash while positioning itself as the default interface for autonomy. Uber doesn't need to beat Tesla or Waymo on technology. It simply needs autonomy to exist at scale. NVIDIA's breakthrough accelerates exactly that outcome, turning Uber into one of the most asymmetric beneficiaries of the autonomous transition. Now let's move to the second stock, Lucid Group ticker symbol LCID, and this one is a very different kind of opportunity. Lucid is not a low-risk investment. It is a turnaround EV platform with meaningful execution risk. But in the context of NVIDIA's autonomy breakthrough, Lucid occupies a uniquely strategic position that the market is still mispricing. Lucid is no longer just a luxury EV brand chasing Tesla. It is becoming a hardware backbone for the autonomous ecosystem. Operationally, Lucid's momentum is real. Deliveries surged 46% year over year in Q3, followed by another strong step up in Q4 with 5,345 vehicles delivered, bringing full year 2025 deliveries to nearly 16,000, up 55% year over year. Production has doubled, and the Gravity SUV is now ramping, including the higher-priced Gravity Touring variant, which improves average selling prices and margin potential. But the real story is where those vehicles are going. Lucid has entered a multi-year agreement to supply up to 20,000 Gravity SUVs into autonomous deployments tied to Uber and autonomy partner Neuro. This is where NVIDIA's Alpamayo model becomes a catalyst. As autonomy becomes safer, explainable, and regulator-friendly, Demand shifts toward OEMs that can deliver autonomy-ready vehicles with high-quality sensors, software-defined architectures, and efficiency advantages. Lucid's vehicles lead the industry in range efficiency, power electronics, and system integration, exactly what autonomous platforms require. Lucid doesn't need to win the mass-market EV race tomorrow. It needs to execute on manufacturing, scale gravity, and narrow losses as autonomy demand ramps. Yes, the risks are real. Gross margins remain deeply negative and cash burn is elevated. But Lucid entered 2026 with approximately $5.5 billion in total liquidity, backed by Saudi Arabia's PIF, giving it runway into its next inflection point. Importantly, Lucid trades at a steep discount to Rivian on forward revenue, despite faster delivery growth and clearer exposure to autonomy-driven fleet demand. In a world where NVIDIA enables autonomy at scale, Lucid doesn't have to become Tesla. It has to become indispensable to the autonomy supply chain. For investors with risk tolerance, this is a leveraged bet on the next phase of autonomous vehicles, not the last cycle of EV hype. That brings us to the final stock and the core of this entire transformation, NVIDIA Corporation, ticker symbol NVDA. NVIDIA is not just participating in the autonomous revolution, it is defining it. With Alpamayo, NVIDIA introduced the world's first thinking model for autonomous driving trained using its Cosmos World Foundation model, synthesizing millions of driving miles before ever touching public roads. This allows vehicles to reason through unfamiliar situations instead of failing when they encounter something new. That's why regulators care. That's why automakers care. And that's why NVIDIA's role in autonomy is structurally different from anything we've seen before. This strategy is already translating into real-world adoption. Mercedes-Benz's new CLA, powered end-to-end -end by NVIDIA's DRIVEAV stack, has achieved a five-star Euro NCAP safety rating and begins rolling out globally throughout 2026. Companies like Uber, Lucid, and Jaguar Land Rover are adopting Alpamayo-based systems. NVIDIA is no longer selling chips, it is selling complete autonomous systems, from silicon to networking to software to simulation. And that same philosophy is accelerating with Vera Rubin, NVIDIA's next-generation AI platform, which has now entered full production. Rubin delivers massive efficiency gains in inference, memory, and reasoning, exactly what autonomy, robotics, and physical AI require. From an investment standpoint, NVIDIA's fundamentals continue to justify its leadership. Earnings growth has outpaced share price appreciation, valuation multiples have compressed rather than expanded, and free cash flow continues to surge. Even more importantly, NVIDIA's guidance largely excludes China upside, leaving incremental optionality rather than dependence. If even a portion of that market reopens through compliant chips, it adds to earnings without changing the core thesis. NVIDIA is building the default platform for physical AI, cars, robots, factories, and beyond. Here's the critical distinction investors must understand. Tesla is building a closed, vertically integrated autonomy system. NVIDIA is building the open platform that everyone else runs on. History tells us that platforms, not products, create the most durable compounding over time. 
If Jensen Huang is right, and a large percentage of the world's cars become autonomous over the next decade, NVIDIA doesn't need to predict which automaker wins. It becomes the toll road.